Hello YouTube, Jeff the Thief Guy here, welcome back to a new video and today we are back on the Fiorentina career mode and we are currently on deadline day as you can see here, Koulibaly has gone to Paris Saint Germain for nearly 90 million uh, is there any other big ones? Downson Sanchez to AC Milan um, Marquinhos to Barcelona Insigne to Man U. Who else? Van der Beek to Dortmund. Icone to Schalke. Uh, Caldara to Leverkusen. Okay, we have got a few comments on our last video. Uh, Lucas Sandor says, try to buy Ines Hadji of um okay three star five star can play a calm left wing right wing we currently have five million so we'll get to that in a second that number says top video uh thank you for the spot dude and then weaves says get jeff to 100 and please do guys uh we're coming up to the end of this month and the aim was to get to 100 subs by the end of this month so if you're new around here please subscribe hit the thumbs up button leave your comments down below uh so i know that you guys are interacting with this series and want to see more so we're gonna go ahead and try and buy Ines haji i do apologize if you can hear me playstation overheating I think it probably does need another clean out, but uh, for now I'm just going to leave it. So I think we'll offer two and a half million with a wait on a second with a ten percent sell on clause. Okay. I think uh, to the person who said to buy Haji, I think he's going to be too much, so we'll leave it for now. And have we got our stuff out? Yes, we have. Both five star, five star, which is good. Transfer offer for Dykes. Brighton, no. Dykes is a really good back up right back so we're gonna keep him actually let's see if we can get some pre-contract signings for next season okay there's agreement for Barnes Leipzig are willing to pay 24 million I'll accept that because he's actually been a major flop flop for us a lot of speculation around Dykes right now they know that he's a really good backup right back. Uh, we're going to have a look. Uh, one 2021. I've got this app that uh, shows me who's running out of their contract. So we'll go ahead and go 2021. And then search. Okay. Yeah, search. So Bamiyang, he'll be on now though, won't he? Okay, there's a few good ones here, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, there's some really good ones here. What do we actually need in our squad? I'd say a centre-back instead of Smallin, because he's getting quite old now. So, what centre box could we possibly get? There's not a lot of centre box, to be honest. Not a lot at all. Um. Right, we'll go ahead and search for centre box 
left back, CEM, search. Sorry, 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 sorry. Don't copyright me for that YouTube. That it's just an advert. So. Who are we? I don't want to just stay like this for quite long because you guys will get bored. But what I'm thinking is. <laughs> Eric Dyer. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm not going to go for Dyer. Um. Who are we going to go for? Oh, I've just found a beast, guys. Unless the pot. Oh, he's on lawn. We can't get him. That would have been a. Beast of a sign and free. Who else is there? Okay, we've already got Tenali. Um, what about this guy? What's his first name? It begins with an M, so is it Melangsa? Wait on a second. Melangsa. Ah, he's moved, so that changes it. Who else could we get? Is there anyone else with insane potential? If this guy's moved or is on lawn, that'll be unfortunate. Oh, someone's already picked him up. Come on, there must be someone else. Surely. There's this guy who hopefully hasn't been picked up already. Of course he has. Oh. Saying, right, I think we're just going to end deadline there. It's not really anyone we can pick up, to be honest. Uh, we tried buying Haji. He's too much. But we might make, we might make that, um, actually, can we go in for him now? No, I think we have to wait, don't we? Um, centre box. He's recently just joined Wolfsburg, okay. Raul Albiol is 35, so we do not want him. We could get Ericsson on a free. No, we've got too many attackers. We don't want to be buying more. Okay then, uh, because INS Hadji is the only person you guys wanted me to sign, that's the only comment that I've got. Um, I think we're just going to go this deadline day without picking up anyone. I know Barnes is sold, but it's always nice to have spare cash anywhere. We'll get the training drills in. Ok, 
here. I think we might have a monthly scouting update here. Viragi wants to play a bit there. Uh, I'm counting on you in decisive moments. Right, have we got any beasts? Maybe this guy, 500,000 for a value is good. Turkey. This, no, it's not good enough. Right, so let's have a look at that guy who I just picked up. 61 red. Okay, what's his weak foot and skills? I'm gonna sneeze, guys. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Three star, three star is actually up here. That is usable in FIFA. Um, Boateng is dropping 49 pace. Jesus Christ. Uh, Frozenone coming up next. Are we going to simulate this? It's an away game. They are 19. Who have we got next? Atlanta. Right, and it's an away game. We'll play against Atlanta. We'll simulate against Frosinone. 4-0. There you go. Viragi's injured, but that might be a good thing. Because that means he'll quit complaining. Hopefully. Don't let it go to your head. Uh, proof me I need to play you. Three months. Yeah, so he will stop complaining now. Uh, we're going to have to play against Atlanta without Milinkovic. Which is unfortunate because last time we had to play without Milinkovic. It didn't go so well. But last time we used Rasmussen. Which might be the reason why. So we'll use Pavard in centre back this time. Uh, are we going to use... We'll use Zakinini, Zakinini for a sub. He's got 93 pace, Jesus. And yeah, that is the squad we're going to use to come up against Atlanta. And I think we're just going to play the one game today. Uh, seems so. It's been quite a long episode already. Right guys, sorry about that little trim in between. But we're going to get in this game against Atlanta. I'll see you at the Right then, guys, this is the Atlanta lineup. 3 4 1 2. Spot Tiello in goal, Mantini, Maripan, and Skirt the Turtle in defence. Castagna, Foyla, Haas, Mattiello in midfield. Malinowski and Kam, Vido and Muriel in striker. I wouldn't say that's the strongest lineup. To think that they used to have Gomez. They used to have Zapatar. Those are like two big players in their squad that makes their squad really good. Our squad compared to theirs is so much better in my opinion. So we might be looking like... Hopefully we can absolutely smash Atlanta here. Hopefully. I mean, that's a good ball. That is... No, he is actually insane. He's probably my favourite player on this in this team. Oh, freaking El Pavard, that was sick. Tenali, Kwame, free kick. Is that a red card? Yes, it is. Now the are. Uh, down to two at the back. But it looks like the making changes anywhere. Kuna has 78 free kick accuracy. Um, oh, 
Oh, they didn't jump. I was hoping that they would jump and then it would go under and I would have slotted it into that corner. Tenali, Tenali makes it 1-0. And that is why he's the next Perlo, because he can score goals as well as defend. He actually is definitely one of my favorite players in career mode. If he gets a future stars card in Ultimate Team, that's a card I'll be looking to pick up, definitely. Because hopefully it'll be cheapish, and it'll be like a cheapish Perlo, even though Perlo's quite cheap anyway. <laughs> Tonali might be a better Perlo on all the That's half time. We are 1 0 up. Uh, yeah, quite a tight game to be honest. To say that the squad isn't even that good. We're gonna bring Katrone off because he's getting on my nerves. And then. Who are we going to bring on for Tenali? Actually, we'll keep Tenali on for now because he's having a game of his. Well, he performs well consistently, to be honest. So, not the game of his, like, but he's doing very really well. Like, how is that not a penalty? I don't know, but yeah, I'm just going to. Tenali! <laughs> Tenali's on for a hat trick right now! Get in there! Off the corner, perfect little cross from Chiesa, and what a header. Keeper stunned, no chance. That is Tenali's third goal in the Serie A. But their attack needs improvement as well, in my opinion. Uh, we're going to bring on Zakanini, however you pronounce that, in striker because of his 90 pace. And then. We'll keep Tenali on because he's on for a hat trick. That might mean he might die of a heart attack. But uh, yeah, oh well. You have to put your heart and soul into the game. That is offside. Was that not offside? Oh, I thought right. it was offside. It felt like it had to be offside. Dries Mertens comes on, bags himself a goal. And that is 3-0, and I did say that I expected to thrash Atlanta up, and we're doing that right now. That is Dries Mertens' seventh goal in Syria. Playing him in, in at Cam is just the right thing to do, because up at striker you need a bit of strength. Great tackle. Zucchini. Zucchini! His pace was like... That is why I brought him on, because his pace is actually unreal. I think he's going to be a starting super sub for us from now on. Like, his pace is just too crucial to not have as a super sub. Like... Atlanta's defence is terrible because they're down to 10 men right now so that's why there's so many gaps but uh yeah so Canini's looking like he's gonna be uh starting so it actually was i'm not being sarcastic we made them go offside there to guess that you play on referee And we make it 5 now. Trace Mertens bugs himself for second. He does the dead fish celebration. And 5 0 against Atlanta. I'll take it. What a win. What a win that is. Tonali has to be our man the match here. Surely. Like he's got two goals and possibly two assists. He's like definitely the next Perlo in this career mode. In real life it's looking likely that he's going to be the next Perlo as well. But there you go guys, we've finished the match 5-0 and we're still 
on Juventus' tail right now. Tonali gets a 10. Wow. Sakini comes on, but bugs himself a 9.1 rating. I mean, everyone performed well. Didn't they? Clean sheet against Atlanta. Juventus beat Roma, so we're still chasing them. But we are looking to, like, we're closing in on that Champions League spot. Can the team manage without Baragi on the long run? Plenty of options. We have. Baragi only goes into the second team. Yeah, Baragi gets into the second team. Yeah, as you can see, we're three points behind Juventus still. Sotil goes up to a 73 rating. And Milankovic. Will you chill out? You got suspended up okay? here. That's why you were not playing that match. Just chill. Even though Pavard did do absolutely sick in that match. It was unreal how good he was. Uh, there he is. Pavard. Garcia. And yeah. We're gonna keep Zucchinini on the bench because his 90 pace can be crucial to us. Uh, our next episode we'll be starting things off playing against AC Milan. Mertens, you, you'll probably you'll probably just get subbed on there, so don't worry. Um, yeah, Rashford is top scorer right now. AC Milan are three points behind us. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you did enjoy, please hit the thumbs up, thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Uh, we're looking to get a hundred subs. By the end of the month, once again, I thought I would tell you guys, and thank you for watching.